Well, hello, hello there, dear folks and fellow YouTubers. My name is Nuclear Scholar 7 and in today's video we will be doing my last video for Mark of the Ninja, the original 2012 release, as this is the very last level in the whole game. The name of that level is The Return. You know what you must do. Confront Master Azai. Just gonna take a sip of my water here. Here we are. I don't think anyone will be pleased to see us. New optional seal. Remain undetected until you recover your equipment. And that's what we're gonna do. This is my favorite level. I just love the colors and the architecture of those Asian buildings. Those There's are really awesome. Hits. Remember the key. Hidden in light, show in shadow. Okay, so hidden in light, shown in shadow, which means that opens up that thing for us there. And I'm gonna just, yeah, I'm gonna go here. Visually, the return is my favorite level. Hey, mine too. The art was really fun to put together because there were so many new elements to design. We created completely new art for the subways and the clans hidden areas, got to creepily distribute the hallucination effects throughout the space. The opening of this level is so great. The sky is swirling with inky patterns and no one is around. Then you creep into the old tunnels through these traps and start seeing melted, melting faces on the walls. I love it. Same here. Kelly Graham, environment artist. What a weird coincidence, because this is my favorite level in the whole game, too. Now, do you see that crate that I just stood upon? That will be opened when we do one of these mechanisms here. Do it again. Open this up. Then real quickly. Voila. Had to do that pretty fast though, because that would block the <clears throat> use these tunnels countless times to tunnel down here. So yeah. But I don't this wanna must do be that. the first time anyone's used them to sneak in. Couldn't go through those vents because the thing would become solid again and block it. Okay. First, I'm going to read this bit of designer commentary. Throughout the production, we always planned to gradually add hallucinations to the environments, but they were one of the last things added to the game. I had an idea of how I wanted it to look, but the final level went through so many iterations that it was difficult to make any decisions. I was worried that adding in creepy faces to the back room was too cliche a device to represent someone losing their mind. I'm glad they ended up being part of the game design instead of just a thing in the background. Despite the fact that they aren't real, they are a part of the ninja's reality. Making the guards and puzzles part of the hallucinations makes them part of the player's reality as well. The final world was really fun to make, and all the new tools that were added to the level editor helped this out. It's great to have programmers who can give you the tools you dream up. Who can give you the tools you dream up, I mean. Megan Shaw, lead environment artist. Okay, now watch. How spooky and freaky this is. Not only does this open up a door, but it causes that mask-like structure to open right. its demonic eyes. Are the hallucinations getting stronger? You have to be careful. You may start to see enemies who aren't even there. If your mind thinks you've been shot, your body will believe it. Now we have to be... The subway trains stress the audio system to the limits performance-wise. I couldn't have designed a better worst-case test if I tried, and I had. Many moving and constantly updating sounds for the trains and other effects in addition to regular sounds like footsteps, combined with lots of tight zigzag tunnels all in a relatively small area. This area prompted its own round of optimizations and fixes required to cope with the amount of stuff going on here. Brick Miles Programmer. And so will the train. There's a reason no one but us ever uses these tunnels. 
And you have to really move out of the way of those things quickly, because yes, they will kill you. There's no question about it. We didn't want the only enemies in this level to be stalkers, but I also felt it didn't make any sense that you'd return to your sword, your secret ninja headquarters only for there to be all kinds of normal guards there. Why would Halcyon be working with the clan when they just assassinated Karajan, its leader? So instead we opted to have the guards transform into dead ninja when they are killed. The notion being the tattoos are causing the ninja to hallucinate and imagine foes where instead it's merely his terrified kin. The effect is pretty subtle, and I'm not sure how many folks noticed it, but I hope it was rewarding for those that did. In some games, the moment, this moment would be a big reveal, with dramatic music and a cutscene or something, but I wanted this to be subtle and restrained and let the player's reaction to it be organic versus something informed by the game's presentation. After the game's release, a writer at TheMarySue.com wrote a great piece about her reaction to this, so I hope it was similarly effective for other folks that noticed this. Nels Anderson, lead designer. So those are hallucinations that look like those normal guards, essentially. Right, we have to stay out of the lights or they will notice us. Because remember, one of our seals in this level is remain undetected until you recover your equipment. That's what the heck we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and destroy that light there just so there's no chance of them noticing me. Might grab their attention for a little bit, but hey. Gotta do what you gotta do. As the saying goes. I'm gonna go ahead and smash that other one, I believe, because that will definitely get me noticed. What was that? What was that? Is it my Canadian accent? Or my hallucinatory Canadian accent? Now, before I made this video myself, I had to look at a walkthrough because I was getting really confused on how to do a certain part. Whoa! Whoa, that was close. We've got a secret little challenge room here. <clears throat> oh, I killed myself on accident with that security laser. No problem, I can use the mark of security. Mark of Serenity, I don't know why I said Mark of Security, duh. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna hit this switch here. And notice how it opens up other areas, including the eyes of that mask-like structure. First though, what I'm gonna do is go here. I'm gonna wait for the Mark of Serenity meter to refill there, with that the arrow's pointing at me. Here we go again. Voila, look at that just opened up for us. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit this switch as well. And again, look what that opened up for us. Again, I'm gonna have to use the Mark of Serenity as to avoid killing myself on accident with those security lasers. And I'm just gonna wait for my security meter to refill as it did just now. And I'm gonna go ahead and try going up here first. Don't worry, I'll go past the security lasers. Nicely done. I'm gonna go down here. <clears throat> gonna hit this switch here. Fortunately, that does not seem to destroy those machines there. We'll figure it out though, mark my words. Ah, and look what that did for us. We'll have to do the same with the other one. And look what that opened up. 
We gotta do the same with the other one. That opened up the other one. Now, something I'm gonna do before I go all the way up there is this. So yeah, we've gotta figure out some way to get that light out of the way so it will block the security laser. Got an idea. And voila, look what that just did. Okay. And voila, that's how we get this new scroll. Funeral rites for the one who bears the mark. Before dawn, the ninja, or Kunuichi, bears the mark kneels in the light of their final day. The clan has no power, but still they give their life to the clan. <clears throat> Interesting story there. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for it to go back again, of course. Ah, that was stupid. gonna wait for the other train to pass knowing what happened last time here we go and over here I'm gonna hide behind this doorway here just to really further decrease the chances of getting run over by the train I'm gonna hide here briefly before we go any further you'll need weapons Old Tyra always kept plenty on hand at the top of the watchtower. New objective, recover ninja gear. Midway through the development of the game, we decided to introduce civilians as another goon type that was non-lethal, but very alertable, and it wasn't long before they were scrapped. Rather than waste all the animation work we had done, we decided to skin the civilian and use that build for the other ninja buddies in the game. Hence the term civilian ninja was coined, and seemed fairly apt as they kept getting offed in the later levels. Also, if you observe the ninja in the very first level reading the bell, he still has the red collar belonging to the civilian character build. Aaron Boutillier, lead programmer. I mean, lead animator, duh. Man, look at that inky sky and those exotic oriental buildings. I love them. Just want to make sure there was no enemies around. Okay, need to do that a little differently this time. I gotta, oh, I know. Gotta move this thing out of the way. So that way it'll block the darts. And I'm gonna use Mark of Serenity to go up here and voila! No, that was dumb. I'm gonna have to do that again, alas. Time to use Mark of Serenity again. And voila! Good old Tyra. Even in death, he never let us down. That's right. We must find his eye. 
before they find us. That's what we're gonna do. Stealth kill three hallucinations in less than 15 seconds, and that's what we're gonna do. Let's go grab some equipment here. I'm gonna go ahead and stick to this one, at least for the time being. Wow. Such amazing level design. Gosh. Excellent, seal completed. There we go, awesome. myself on accident as well so we gotta unfortunately do that a little differently yeah direct kill awesome area is crawling with stalkers. It might be safer to duck into the subway tunnels and sneak past them. Ah, there's another of those creepy melting faces. I love them. They're so awesome. That inspired a level of my own in a video game. I won't say what it is just because I don't want to risk my idea getting stolen, of course. Whoa. Close call. Of course it had to get me. Oh, stupid darts got me before I could leave the room. First, though, what we gotta do is... All right. Okay, I selected the wrong one on accident, seems like. It's just one little dart hitting you and that will kill you in no time. So you really wanna duck, of course, when that happens. Because that stupid thing will kill you in no time. Just a simple dart not even hitting a fatal part of the body will make you a thing of the past in no time. Yeah, we're gonna have to turn that off because... Okay. I need to do that a different way.
Come on, boy. Look what that did for us. I'm trying to stealth kill three hallucinations. Okay, nice quiet kill, so it won't be able to grab the attention of any enemies. Okay, I'm gonna do that a little differently again. Finally, seal completed. Oh, achievement unlocked. Perfection. <clears throat> Perfection. Yes, that's just what that is. No, Ninja, you were supposed to... disabled her. I love it. Oh. Earlier, we imagined the second half of this level would be a big dramatic chase where you're following his eye through his Somu Joe. This didn't really work when we implemented though. One, as soon as the player feels a time pressure, they feel rushed and start making mistakes. It doesn't encourage the kind of intentional, thoughtful gameplay we wanted. And two, it made the encounter with Asai very adversarial where we really didn't want him to just feel like the bad guy. Instead, we just used the old training room as a pseudo climax and made the time pressure about staying undetected instead of moving on quickly. Nels Anderson, lead designer. <clears throat> Excellent, took him out. Gotta watch out for those stalker hallucinations, of course. <clears throat> He's dead. Dead as a doornail, it's the same move. Awesome. 
I'm gonna use Mark of Serenity to get out of the way. Because getting away from that thing is just not gonna happen otherwise. Okay, and we've got another place to go. Of course I couldn't. The design of this level meant we needed to give the stalker enemies more information about their surroundings so they could realistically search for the ninja. We developed a way to mark up the events in the level so the enemies could know how to follow the ninja into a vent, not the other side, to look for him. Tatham Johnson program. And of course, I was split in half before I could. I really wish I had saved in a different part. Oh, I hate stalkers good save there, because those stalkers are not easy, and I'm going to be much more quiet. No, they found me! It's too bad they can follow you to the vents as well. Dude, next time you get detected by a stalker, we're gonna have to do this a little differently if you just can't avoid getting detected by darn stalkers. If that's like trying to control a force of nature for you or something. I've read that already, of course. How's that able to kill me? Usually just a slight touch of that stupid train won't kill you, but it was able to that time, unfortunately. Sunset. The entire clan takes part in the Kutsu Age. Kutsu Age. Gratitude to the one who has become an ancestor. A lesson and a warning. The master buries the remains in the shrine, in the heart of Hisomujo. For without this death, the clan would not stand. of a homecoming, is it? It's time to confront his eye. At this hour of the night, he must be in his garden. 
Gonna hide this hallucination's body in here. Voila. See what happened when you press that. Oh, let's look at this image there. See that where my arrow is? That's freaky. down. But if I remember correctly, there's a switch in the old dojo that opens these doors. Awesome. Gotta find that old dojo, of course. Hide behind this dude. Fall off. He's dead. But go ahead. Hide his body in here. There we go. since we were students. Do you remember this test? The statue holds the lever tight, and you have to find the release. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this. The final training room represented the climax of the player's skill of hiding and moving, but it was also the climax of the AI navigation tech. The patrols for the stalkers in this room exercised almost every special case we had for pathfinding. Once they were able to navigate effectively around this room, we knew they could work in their other levels. Tatham Johnson, programmer. to kill one of the hallucinations because I might not be able to do this without getting detected. In fact, that's what I'm going to do first. Take out the hallucination so they won't be a problem. Excellent. Okay, now that I've taken care of those hallucinations, let's go ahead and Look what that did. No, 
Now that was fun. Unfortunately, there's a hallucination that's still alive. Go ahead and take care of him just so he won't be a problem later on. I think I remember there's a seal around here. Maybe not, but not a seal, a scroll, I mean. See if that did anything. One thing I don't like about Mark of the Ninjas, it's so hard to figure out sometimes what you're supposed to do. Even though I should know this game again like the palm of my hand, which is annoying. Oh, I've got an idea of what to do. I think I know how this works now. That's what I did. Okay, you gotta watch out for those this stalkers. This is part of the test too. The doors will open on their own after a few moments. Just hold on. We know you're in here. We know you're in here. Oh, I hate stalkers. My least favorite enemy in this whole doggone game. Make things a little easier if there was just. And, of course, I had to get sliced in half by one before I could escape. One idea is, might let one see me so I, that way I can lure one. Lucky stalker. It's open. Get out. Get up there, dum dum. What's the matter with you?
do anything that will grab the attention of the stalkers, of course. Here's where we need to go. At least I think. figure this out. <clears throat> I know I opened up that darn thing, but still. Now nothing stands between us. Yes, finally. Wow, look at that beautiful oriental architecture. That is exotic and fiery if I've ever seen it. That's why I love it, though. Here we are. Welcome home. Fortunately, I didn't get three scrolls. Put down your sword. Well, folks, I believe that will end. Part 11 of my Mark of the Ninja walkthrough. Remember, if you like this video, please hit the like button below. And if you want to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button below. And I will see you all later, folks. Till next time, though, my name is Nuclear Scholar 7.